All right, welcome back. I'm Dr. Stephen Cabral, board certified doctor of naturopathy. Glad to have you with me here today. Looking forward to going over this whiteboard topic of the seven most powerful anti-inflammatory foods. It was going to be five. What I wanted to do was add a couple bonus ones that I talked about on a podcast as well. So I wanted to update this here for you. So we're going to take you through which foods that you really should be including in your diet on a daily basis. These foods are powerful anti-inflammatory based nutrients that help to also neutralize a lot of the inflammation that might come from not the best food choices or from alcohol or a lot of the inflammatory foods that I talked about in the previous video. I'll try to link up the inflammatory foods video below because if you remove the five most inflammatory foods and you add in these seven anti-inflammatory foods, I mean, your health is going to get so much more dramatically better. You're going to improve your uh, weight loss transformation goals if you have those, your aging goals. So really, th these are things that you can begin to work into your life. Now, maybe you're not going to be perfect at them on day one. That's okay, right? Life is a journey. You want to be able to implement these over time. So let's get started. The first one is vegetables, but not just any vegetables. I want you to start to include some more cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables are the ones like bok choy, and broccoli, and cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. The reason why these are so powerful is they actually ramp up liver detoxification. They actually provide more of what's called phase two liver detox. And if you've never heard about that before, I want to introduce you to a free course that I created on functional medicine detoxification. One of the most important topics that enough people are not talking about and don't know enough about. And so I want to bring this to everyone. It's so important. It's completely free. Go to equi.life forward slash detox dash course. And again, I'll link that down below. So number one, cruciferous vegetables. Number two is going to be fruit. Believe it or not, fruit is not the enemy. I know we like to call it that in a lot of these low carb diets, but believe it or not, it is not the enemy. Why? Here's why. When you, especially when you consume berries, cherries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, these contain massive amounts of flavanols and phytonutrients. These are the things that fight cancer, that fight heart disease, that fight heart blood, uh, high blood pressure, stroke, etc. So remember, they're not the enemy. They are here to serve you and actually reduce inflammatory free radical damage inside of the body. Now, again, you could do seven to nine cups of fruits and vegetables every day. Even if you only want to do one cup of fruit, you can do a seven to nine cups of veggies and adding that and again, all these brightly colored fruits and vegetables, you're going to be so much healthier because inside of all these brightly colored fruits and vegetables are all of the plant-based phytochemicals that help to fight disease. All right, next up are healthy fats, right? Healthy fats are sometimes a strange one because avocado is technically a fruit. It has a seed right inside of it, but we consider it just a healthy fats. Healthiest fats really in the world are monounsaturated fats. There's evidence for and against saturated fat. There's evidence for and against polyunsaturated fats. There's only evidence predominantly for monounsaturated fats like uh, macadamia nuts, avocados, and olive oil or olives. So if you wanna add some healthy fats to your diet, these are great, absolutely great, great picks. Uh, avocados, olives, and I even put down coconut oil. Coconut oil is a saturated fat. There are multiple forms of saturated fat, but coconut oil actually can be pretty good for providing you with medium chain triglycerides for energy, uh, getting rid of a lot of bad gut bacteria. I just wouldn't go overboard with it. That's all. All right, next up, number four is fatty fish. I've got many videos that I've done now on fatty fish. Fatty fish can provide you with high levels of omega-3s. As long as it's coming from wild caught fish, you're going to be able to enjoy all the benefits of getting good quality protein in your diet uh, with a lot of those high quality omega-3s that help you balance omega-6s. If you've never tested your omega-3s to your omega-6s levels, can't recommend enough. I'll share where to get that lab at the end. Number five is nuts. They are a powerful anti-inflammatory uh, nutritional food, such as walnuts, and almonds and macadamia nuts. Heart healthy, right? As we see right here, they're literally good for your cardiovascular system. They're good for uh, type two diabetes or diabetes in general. They help with blood sugar stabilization. Really, really powerful. Again, try to go with raw if possible. Try to get organic whenever possible. 
Number six, we're in the bonus categories now. I added these as bonuses after the top five. That's why you see a little seven up here. We've got turmeric, we've got rosemary, we've got fenugreek. This is rosemary right here. Rosemary, one of the most powerful antioxidant herbs that you probably have never heard about. Uh, and that's why I wanted to introduce this here to you today. Rosemary can be added on top of cooking with chicken or fish or a lot of dishes. And you don't necessarily need to eat all the rosemary itself, but it can actually provide a lot of flavor and a lot of those antioxidant-based protection when cooking too. Rosemary, really powerful nutrient. And spices in general, again, turmeric, you can drink it as a tea, you can add it to a smoothie, you can consume it however you'd like. And then number seven is going to be herbal teas. Again, you can go back to the turmeric if you want. Ginger tea, green tea, white tea, rooibos, a lot of these Tulsi tea, very, very powerful as an anti-inflammatory, natural anti-inflammatory. Why is this so important? You wanna make sure that you're reducing and balancing healthy levels of inflammation in your body at all times. The reason is, is that inflammation is what exacerbates disease. So there's an underlying root cause that's inflammation and the inflammation exacerbates the disease, right? And then we start to see the symptoms. That's the rain barrel effect. So what we wanna do is be balancing inflammation, reducing our inflammatory foods, increasing our anti-inflammatory foods and making sure the body is balanced at all times. So. Uh, if you want to test your omega-3 anti-inflammatory levels or your inflammatory levels, they're both at equa.life forward slash labs. Again, I'll link that up below. Uh, really, really important though, because one of the biggest factors for early death and disease is inflammation. So hopefully this was helpful, of course. Let me know if there's any questions. And again, I'll link up all the resources below. Take care.